Greetings and welcome back to Automation Empire. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are back in my test factory because I feel like this one has better progress than the other factory. So I think we'll continue from here. Uh, some changes have been made to the game. I've noticed this first off uh, with the latest uh, update. We have uh, the research bays are no longer green. Oh no, I hope that gets changed back. Uh, because I liked them being like, hey, we're ready to be thing. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to keep on claiming some research points here. And we're going to really focus on what we need to do to get kind of to the end game and figure out what that's about. Okay, those are done. Um, let's see what we need to unlock. So we have all of the things except for ethanol and capacitors. Um, I think that's probably a good thing. I don't think I've actually made any capacitors on this map at all. Uh, so we need to probably look at that. Let's see, we have gold coming in here, uh, but this is making iron. So I'm thinking why not just put the iron? We do not need four makers here, that's for sure. Uh, that was because of there was a little bit of an overflow, I think. I don't remember exactly, but we can ship the gold in here and hopefully just like reduce this. We have actually five of these in here. This is uh, one of the designs that I was using for my uh, my tutorial series. And here's another one of them. Yay. So, oh, this is the minimalist one. Ah, yes. This is a tiny, tiny little factory building. We could... Let's see if we have enough space in here for the refiners. Otherwise we can just use this to uh, create the iron and then ship it into here for making the capacitors. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff to do right now. We can probably get rid of this building if we wanted to. Again, those are left over from, the, um, from various experiments that I've been doing with the game. <clears throat> of course, there's the other option too of making the capacitors near, well, nearby here. I guess that we have to transport the gold anyway. And we can always have the extra go into the sales part of this whole operation. Okay, let's go ahead and start with that. The other thing I would like to really get into is the things like ethanol and grain meal. You know what? Let's do some of that because that sounds, oh, no, no, no. What do I want to do? Uh, you know what? It's going to be faster just to quickly set up the capacitors. So let's go ahead and do that. Let us do that instead. Okay. So let me, and, and I do have the game pause because I read somewhere and I don't know if this is completely true or not, but that the uh, monthly power costs uh, are, are you can actually see them here and the tax costs are like 2% of your entire uh, revenue of your lifetime. I'm not quite sure if that's correct or not, but if that is, it's a bit terrifying because you would never be able to catch up at some point. The game would end. I hope that's not the case. Um, I don't know if you could see that anywhere, but uh, oh yeah, here we go. Let's see. Galactic government levels an equilibrium tax, which is based on the total profit you've made with your colony over time. Holy fuzzy cat, that's right here. Each week charges 2% of your total profit. In the event of an income deficit, your tax will decrease to adjust. Uh, what does that mean? Does that mean if you run at a loss for a while, you eventually pay no taxes? Hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I don't know, game. You're not telling me like the, the critical details. Anyway, um, so what we want to do, let's just revamp this whole thing. And we'll have, we need three of these guys. And that will give us a little bit more space in this factory. Very nice. Um, we don't need this train coming in here. In fact, we can move this outside. Let's see, let us just delete this whole thing and keep the iron we have stored because gold uh, plus iron equals capacitors. That's what we're after. Okay, don't know if I should have this on a little truck train or not. Uh, yeah, this whole thing is a bit of a mess. This is where we really are getting some goods loaded. So I'm wondering, I could just ship it to this, you know what? I'm going to ship it over here because that's where we have the most capacity to deal with stuff. Um, yeah, we can delete this for sure. We will not need this at all capacity wise. So let me get rid of a couple of these as well. Don't 
need all of these electrical poles. There we go. Man, there's so much to do in this game. So let's see, we have the water connected there. We need to get this uh, to where it works. Mm. Let's see, where do we want to put the next vat? Ugh. Could put it here and then have gold on the other side. Does this work though, if we have a couple of these little thingy majingies? I need three combiners. Really need three. Really. Yeah. This, wait. Oh, no. Uh, not that way. Thingy, careful. So we do this, and then this one is here. And then we'd need a longer one, like this, to go here. Oopsies. I was trying to press space bar over here. That doesn't work, does it? No. No, no, no. Mmm. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, this is great. This is really great. I'm quite happy with this. So, let's do this. Those don't matter what direction you put them. As you see, I put it the quote-unquote wrong direction and it's still filled up. We'll put this one wrong as well. There we go. The only time these things matter is when you're actually feeding a machine. And if you try to put it the wrong way, it says, nope, sorry, can't. Cannot do. Okay, so now these, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, that doesn't work either, does it? Um, <laughs> the cry, oh no, we're not gonna cry. We are, we might cry, <laughs> we might cry. Let's see if I can, we need to put this thing, this side, let's try. Uh, there's a, yeah, well, there's, there's, we can do, we can do things. It'll be fine. Let's see. Get a one. I was thinking about using a big one, but that's not going to fix our problem. Nope. This one, however, should, I hope. Hello. Here, is that enough space? It is enough space. Hooray. Boom. Yes. Now we have the choice of using either ten thousand dollars or this and then one well it's actually the same it's ten thousand either way so um let's see i want to put this thing here no i have to be very careful with this because we need to have a track line that's able to go this way and output there there we go. Let's do this and take this this way. Like, urgh, no, no game, no. It's fine. We'll do it uh, the other way, I think. Look at this. We might have to do this the <laughs> same way anyway. All right, so this is not ideal alignment for that at all. Uh, what I could do is just place the container where it is convenient. That's probably the easiest thing to do, so let's just do that. Let's find a way to put uh, this thing through here. Let's put a, a door there, please. There we go. Excellent. Um, we need to do this somewhat like that. I don't know if that's going to be okay, though, with this. Yes, it is. Hello, hello. We have made it. Life is now clearly better. Clearly, clearly better. Boom. Now then. That is connected. Um, of course, it's connected at the wrong place because we're going to send it over here, I believe. Um, but we can now get this properly aligned. Now, how do we want to do that? Oh, no, we can't do this because that's... Oh, yes, we can. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. It will be fine. We need to have this thing like maybe there. Yeah, probably there. And the output, I think we're going to control with, I don't know, orange. I forgot what color the other place was. Was it orange? Let's see. The output was orange. Yes. Let's go with orange. Seems reasonable. So we will add orangey thingy-majingies there, and there, and there. 
And these are all going to be fed through here, and that's fine. And then this one we're going to choose to be orange. Connector color orange. Hooray! Now then, huh, the other bit might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, because I'm thinking... Um, connecting... Oh, wait a second. Do we, have, do we have a possibility? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, we do, we do. Oh, this is good. This is fantastic. We have things we can't build there. Oh no. Okay, fine. We'll delete the pipes first. Just don't tell anyone. It's our secret. There we go. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do with this is... Uh, this. The only thing with this is that it is a bit awkward. I might... <laughs> I might take this one go go up the other side because I think that this train is very long and I think it's not going to fit here if we go back and forth. I think that's really not not going to work at all. All right, so we'll, we'll, we need to rearrange this slightly. You know what, in fact we can delete this entire thing since we're not planning on going this direction. This is fine. There we go. There we go. Okay, boom. No! No. I didn't think it would get that. Oh dear. It's okay though. It's alright. This here. And we're going to delete these couple of thingies. There we go. Okay. And those will be deleted later after their contents has been dropped off. So. So. This is actually a bit convenient, I think. Maybe. If we have this thing coming in this door and exiting this door, mm -hmm, that means that we can just take it along here and we can instantly connect to this line. This thing isn't functioning at all, so that means we can delete this rail line here. We'll replace the power pole so we don't completely lose our sense of electricity. That would be extremely inconvenient. Uh, let's go ahead and put this through here like this. All right, now, ah, there we go. Okay, so this thing needs to move for sure. That's on the wrong alignment completely. Get rid of one of those. We can take this and do the slope here. Excellent, that's what we want. Good, good, good. Completely delete this. Very nice. Actually, this curve could be the wider one, so let's go and grab that instead. Uh, you can press T. To adjust the crack, uh, the track curvage. I almost dyslexically said something else there. <laughs> Might have been quite funny, but thank goodness we didn't actually say it. Woohoo! Um, yeah. So there we go. We can have this going on here. Um, we could out. We could link these guys, but I don't think. Eh, maybe it's necessary. I don't know. Let's just put all of the things and all of the stuffs. I will link these guys together and then we'll just have one output or one input, I should say, from the minecart. There we are. All right, and then this one will be shortened slightly and then we'll, we'll go and connect this to this track. Hooray! Yay! There we go. Boom. Okay, so any excess is going to go and be sold. And this is what we want, I think, because we have six gold and three iron, I believe. So that should give us some capacitors. So now we have, we need to organize the sale of said capacitors. So what we can do with this is, can we, we need that to be there. What if we tee that? Oh, we can tee that right like that. Excellent. Mm, so this is going to be our backup zone and then out out the door zone, cross into the power line zone. It's decidedly inconvenient. Here we go. Let's get power line again. There we go. Now then, um, I'm thinking connect to this one or something like that. That seems okay. Um, this will just connect it to the entire network of these storage containers. Okay, let's do that. Output to, to a container, to a mine cart container. Let's go ahead and 
do this. And then this can just kind of go along here, I think. That's just fine. I don't know how long it needs to be. We'll adjust that in a second. Let's go ahead and put this uh, upward. Okay, let's go here. And then we're just connecting from there. That's quite an easy track over. It's not that far. This is great. So this is not like some massive, oh my God, we have no idea how to solve this problem thing. Oh no, we don't know how to solve that problem apparently. <gasps> no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We're listening. It's fine game. We're getting there. Uh, let's see. Can we do this? Yes. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay, so we need to just carefully snake our way around here. These guys need a level three. I guess we could level three this, but I'm gonna sneak it, I think. <laughs> this is quite funny. We'll just squiggly squiggly around. It's like some kind of a wild mouse roller coaster on roller coaster tycoon. Let's see, T that. Yep, that's fine. Okay, good. Very good. And we'll make this to be. Okay, so the other thing though that we need to do is. I think I want. Hmm. I think I want some kind of a transfer to send some to research. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use this. Have we gotten enough oil research? I think we have 200 there. Yeah, I think we, we're, we're good on oil. So let's make this thing for, oh, and we're on gold fuel as well. We're, we're done with that. So we can just ship all the gold fuel uh, off to the world. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, all right, so we can delete this thing, this container. Oh, that's going to hurt if I do that. I, okay. An oil, oil does not need to be here either. That's the research oil. Okay. We're going to, we're going to just turn this off. And I think we'd just take off the, the cars. Let's just do it that way. That's easy. And uh, we'll just kind of figure it out if we have issues in the future. So this one, I think what we're going to do here is just, what do we got here? This is the output. Oh, it's off. Okay. Sure. Great. This one, I will also want to be off. This track is, ah, yes, that's the transfer one. Okay. So those are both off. That's fine. And then we have train stuff going here as well. Kind of would prefer to have, it would be nice to have like some priority things here. I don't know how to do that. I haven't really thought about it actually until now. So we might do that. Uh, anyway, let's see what we can do. Oh, this is so sneaky. This is great. This is great. What we need to do here is this one. Oh, we're a bit, we're a bit short. That's fine. That's fine. We will get there. I want to put down a thing here. One, two, right? One. Yep. Right there. Right there. And we're going to delete part of this. That's the research track. Okay. Um, and I want to, first of all, input here, and then we can input over there to prioritize this one. This is the research one. And how are we going to get this out of here? That is a very good question. Mm. This seems very close. Can I, can I snake this like that? Can I tee that like that? Yes, I can. I can tee this. Excellent. Okay. And that's, I think that's a, tra a train of like four or five long. It's not that long at all. Okay, so let's uh, output here. And then here is where we need to get some serious height going on the minecarts. There we go. There we are. So we can just pass over those claw trains. Uh, let's see, turn this one around, please. Go. Good. Let's 
Move this around. There we are. Three. Nope, nope, nope. Not level two. Three, please. Thank you. Let's tee that as well so we have these gentler, shorter curves. Uh, okay. Hey, things are happening. Yay. Okay, so we have input for gold. We've got train, train coming down. Excellent. Let's see if this happens. Let's see if it works the way we want it to work. Oh, and we need to probably connect our factory with water again. So let's do that. The water connections. There we are. Really? Come on, thing. Work. Work, work, work. No! Oh, must be an S-Bend, maybe? Let's try that. I haven't used those yet. They look fairly useful, though. Okay, two S-Bends. <laughs> sure, game. Sure. We'll, we'll work with your S-Bends. It looks a bit silly, but it's fine. Let's, like, do that whole thing. Okay, so, come on, trains. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I'm waiting for you. Okay, this one is loading up. Coming on down. You might need to just remove some cars off that train, because it is very, very long, and I think... I think there might have been some excess that we weren't selling, so that's why we needed it to be longer. So let's remove a couple of carts here. And then we'll remove a couple more as well. Okay, there we go. We got stuff happening here. One, two, three, maybe? Sure. Let's go with that for now, and then we'll see. All right, we have gold and we have stuff. They are actually working, so this is fantastic. Oh, capacitors! Hooray! How you doing? All right, are we, do we have a train there? I don't know. I don't think we added this train yet. There we go. Go the other way, please. Go back and get us some capacitors. Yeah. Have fun with that. Nice. So we are getting the gold. Here is the iron and these should be just yep, insta transferred into there. Oh, this is great. Wait, did it get some? Did it get some? No, no. Oh, no. That's the wrong direction. Yeah, that would help. It would really help. You know what? We were just testing this. It's fine. Uh, this is why we test things. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so it looks like we are... I'm not quite sure. There were two empty carts, but I don't know if they had unloaded before I, I looked at them or not. Okay, here comes the train. The minecart train. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Holy fuzzy cats. Let's add one, maybe. We don't need more than one because it went back and forth a couple of times before uh, doing other stuffs. Okay, so this. Okay, we're going to unload here. Oh, just in time for the other train. Oh, that's great. Look at that. That is pretty darn cool. All right, and we are going to get to sell some, which is quite nice. Oopsies. Oh, or maybe not. Let's see, let's see, where is, this thing is there. So let's delete these tracks so we can shorten the uh, distance, shorten the time it takes to get over there. We probably don't need two crate makers. Let's just delete this one for now. There we are. This is looking great. Okay, we're gonna delete these as well. Uh, well. Yeah, just leave the one end or something on there. Okay, there. This poor building. <laughs> Look at this. So many holes punched into it. <laughs> and you can't remove doors, unfortunately, as we have seen. Okay, this thing is jammed, as you can see. We don't need that many boxes. This was before I discovered how many boxes you should have on a conveyor. So you should have, for three machines, you should have uh, nine total. And that is all you need. Let's see how many we have now. Let's replace these. Okay, and hopefully we'll get this unjammed. You need basically one for each of these machines, uh, one each waiting, and then three to travel. And that's it. That's all you need. You don't need any more than that. Let's just make sure these are correct. Oh, this is also wrong. This is every two, every two, and then zero. Or two, two, one, and zero. Every two, every one, and then zero. 
Okay, let's see what we have here. We have too many boxes still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Yeah, there is one there. Yeah, too many. Many, 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 many boxes. There we go. I'll just delete these. It's okay to have one or two extra, but not a billion. Yeah. I mean, I know there's not a billion, but, you know, for the sake of billionizing, we could we could think of it as a billion. Yeah, sure. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, that keeps everything aligned and it should get going fairly well. Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, probably, and another three. Yes, and three. So eleven and three is too many. Uh, that's fourteen. So thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Sure. Let's go with ten. Okay, now that should be enough for this whole thing to operate well. Now, one thing that I don't know is normally I've been doing this on a square belt. I don't know if the extra four are going to make too much of a difference. I don't think so, but you never can tell. So we may need one or more crates on this uh, just to add on here. So right now, yep, those are not in position yet. There they go. Now they're going there. Good, good. Okay, there we go. Looking pretty good. All right, and then these are getting processed. Capacitors are being made. Oh, it's so tasty. Nice. So good. This is excellent. Very, very good. All right. So hopefully that means that, oh, you know what we forgot to do is change the filter on this guy. No. All right. Well, we got it now. It'll be fine. So these guys are still using the, oh, there we go. Oh, that was lucky to get this. And now these hopefully are going to start, there we go, researching the capacitors. It filled these two up. I wish it would be kind of more equal with filling labs in this way, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. Anyway, we have tons and tons of research points. I'm very happy with the way things are going. So that's our capacitors. I feel like we're, we're now getting there. We're going to get there as soon as we have some um, stuff getting finished. So that's something to look forward to. Um, for the next time, I think what I want to do is plan out how we're going to have our farm because for ethanol, you need oil. And this is the other oil patch on the map. If I want to be anywhere near trains, you know what? In fact, we can, we can put the trains down right now. This is going to look absolutely stupid, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Uh, we're going to delete this one for now. Um, and then align this one in, let's see, I'm just going to space these out and add the ones that I need to add. There we go. So we're going to delete a few of these like that. Yep. That'll work. And then we'll just put power lines in between. There we go. And of course, out of electricity. Now, this one of the things I, I've forgotten is, do we need to connect these guys? Yeah, we do. So with this, I just wanna pause this and then we will add our power lines across to connect this to the main grid. There doesn't seem to be any, I don't know, detriment to having many of these uh, power stations other than the cost. Uh, otherwise, yeah, here now they share, they're sharing capacity, but you can put these down remotely because these are quite expensive. Power poles are 500 a piece. So if you have a very long way to go, it's often better just to get your power station going on. Okay. So how are these not happy? No. Oh dear. Okay. Ah, okay. These are connected to a different power station that we have hanging out here. Interesting. There we go. That's fine. Um, yeah, and it, but and it makes it really easy to, you know, expand these power stations. They don't have any running costs. I think we're just paying for electricity that we actually use. So, uh, with well, actually use that we actually have reserved via machines. Um, as in, this costs eight hundred a month, whether it's running or not, and this one four thousand a month, whether it's running or not. That kind of thing. Okay, so with this, I want to actually remove this one and move it slightly in. 
well, as far in as possible. Oh, geez, I've lost the, the alignment on this. There we go, like that. That's what I want. No, that's not what I want. No, stop it. Come on, brain, you can do it better than that. Was it, I think it was there. Oh, that's, that's where you can put it. You don't have any choices. Okay, I see now, I see. I got confused. That's fine though. Can we tee these? No, you cannot. So this one, I'm thinking, I want this train line to go, it has to connect to this mountain. Okay, so this is our end point. I could have it go through like here maybe, or here, that side. I don't know if it matters. We have to see perhaps. So this one, I'm gonna put this at the end here. Let's see what we got for a curve, curvature, it's fun. Uh, this actually fits quite nicely right along those uh, electrical lines. No, I mean, yeah, the, the tracks and the water. Yeah, that's looking really good. I think I think we're, we're liking this. Can we, are we water, water soluble? Not, not soluble, of course. Train tracks aren't really meant to dissolve in water. <laughs> you never can tell though. It could be some fancy gummy bear. I don't know. You know, was that a thing? I don't think there was ever a thing. Gummy bears and train tracks. I wonder if they have gummy locomotives. I wonder if that's a thing. I'm not really big into candy, but that sounds fairly amusing. So, all right, we have stuff now. We have our, our output for the train. I don't think we have any other possibility unless we put it out here. And that could be a possibility for this farm with this stuff, I don't know. I think we can minecart it over here. I'm not sure that putting it here is going to be better because of the very long travel time of the train. And I know that there are going to be people who say, hey, just remove all your trucks and stuff. But this is my test save. I wanted this to be there. Probably it's best to put the trains between these two mountains here uh, for the very, very short track. So you can get the highest throughput possible on the trains before the reset kicks in. But I think this will do. I think it's fine. At the moment, we have so much capacity to deal with goods. It's not even, uh, it's no issue whatsoever. Uh, so here we're going to build, let's, uh, we can start building this actually. Get our silos. Maybe we have a couple here. Let's see. I like this trick. So this is a thing. Like if you ever forget, well, like, oh my God, where are the pipes? Where are this? Just mouse over something, railroad track. There you go. Here's your train loading silo. If you've lost your minecart tracks, here you go. There's your ramps and stuff. Very easy. I use that to kind of just like, yeah, well, you know what I'm using it for. It's fine. Okay. So this is the exit and this is probably one of the most valuable sections to put these um, loading silos on. So we're gonna do this and have five cars initially. Probably want more than that, but I, I think it's fine. Okay, so here we go. I like to have only one silo loaded because otherwise it sort of splits things and doesn't work very well. So here we can have more than one container but only one loading silo. So, and again, you can put these any direction you want. It doesn't matter. The containers will fill up. Um, yeah, they're, they're just going to fill up and do their thing. I don't think we're going to need more than 120 times two. I think we should be fine with that. We'll put our Minecraft cart, Minecraft track. Oh my goodness. Speaking today, speaking today is glorious. Some would say, no, it's actually quite terrible. But that will allow us to kind of go out here and do that thing over here. Let's see, we can do, let's set up a track this way, perhaps. Oh, 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 okay, that's an unhappy situation. Hello. Can I that? No, I can't do that. I can do this, however, and I think that's what I need to do. Oh, okay, that's not ideal. And then take that one forward that way. Okay, that's fine. And oh, I lost my thing for a moment. There. I was like, huh, that, that, that doesn't seem like the right elevation. No, no. So let's see, probably there-ish. There we are. 
Very, very nice. And we'll put our unloading right there. Actually, we could put it right here. That's fine too. Okay, so we now have this set up for next time. And I think what we're going to do in the next episode is go ahead and grab that oil, start planting stuff, because we now have farm platforms, which are very interesting looking, but we're going to get them sorted. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.